Hi there guys, we're talking about fibre. Now fibre can't be digested, so it doesn't actually provide you with any energy, but it is a still a vital component of your nutrition. Now what we can see there, it's essentially plant material or cell walls from plants. So clearly, if you're eating fruit and vegetables, that's going to give you fibre. What it actually does is it softens and bulks out your stool. Now that's really important, even, even though it sounds a bit gross, is because it, it helps the normal uh, transition of stool through the digestive system and out of the body. And that helps reduce the risk of colon cancer. It, it essentially keeps your bowel clean and healthy. Now, 18 grams a day is one recommendation. You may find other recommendations for the amount of fibre you need to eat a day, although probably most people don't eat enough fibre. Yes, you can eat too much, and that could give you bloating, cramps, maybe, maybe constipation even. And some people will have too much fibre, but generally, people in the modern world do not eat enough fibre. Now, looking over to the next slide, there's two types of fibre. Soluble fibre does what it says on the tin, it dissolves in water. The two examples I've got up there are oats and the fleshy part of fruits like peaches or nectarines. Now, this will absorb water and help it swell. And it's readily digested by the intestinal bacteria. You'll create gases, which sounds a bit gross, but that's all good for colon health. But this swelling, this bulking out of the stool makes you feel full, which is really, really important when we're talking about weight control. It stops you being hungry all the time. It fills you up. Now, moving on to insoluble fibre, these do not dissolve in water. So it passes straight through the digestive tract without being altered. So you're looking at things like potato skins, cereal products, pips, things like that which really don't change. But again, they help bulk out the stool, um, they actually speed the passage of food through the intestines, they keep the intestines clean, it actually stretches out the stomach and makes you feel full. And another um, role of the fibre, which is very important, is it slows the release of glucose into the blood. So you're not straight away getting a sugar hit, it's slowing down how quickly you get your sugar, your glucose from your food. And that's really, really important to keep you full and also keep your energy levels up throughout the day rather than fluctuating as we talked about when you're eating sugary foods in the carbohydrate section. And overall, your bowel disease will go down. The incidence of bowel disease with people with good fibre in their diets will go down. It helps bind cholesterol and take that away. So that'll go down. Like we mentioned, it helps control your blood sugars and actually insoluble fibre helps with type 2 diabetes, it's been shown. And also it helps you keep a healthy weight by keeping you full, helping you feel full and release your energy over a long time. So absolutely vital, you build fibre into your diet and probably more than you're eating already. Okay, until next time, I will see you later.